Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can implement Tapper and ViewPager 2 in Android. So, I'm using the same project that we have created before, and I'm using uh, let me show you. Yeah, I switched to a different branch, so you can just check out this branch to get all the code that I will be showing now. So currently we have one navigation drawer here i'll remove this navigation drawer and i'll add one tab bar below this toolbar you can add one tab bar in an activity or in your fragment for this example i am gonna add it in the main activity this is the activity xml file activity main.xml here i'll add the tab bar First thing I'm gonna remove this navigation view and also this fragment container view. Then inside this below this toolbar we can add the tab bar and for that you need to add search for tab. So this is the Android material tabs tab layout. This is the component that we need to add and with his match variant and the height is math uh, it is let's use it as rep content then we need to place it be, uh, below the toolbar so let me change the coordinate layer to any other layer like linear layout we also need to change it here linear layout and we need to give the orientation for the linear layout i'm setting it as vertical Behind this toolbar, this is the toolbar, we have this depth bar layout. And also we need one more layout, it's called view pager. For that search for view pager, we have two view pager layouts. View pager 2 is the latest one and it has few more advantages of our view pager. So for this example, I am using view pager 2 width is match parent and height is match parent let me change the background of this view pager this is the view pager this is the tab layout and this is the toolbar now let me give one id for this tab layout tab layout and also one id for the view pager view pager okay now let's move to main activity so we don't need this we don't need this line we don't need this dry layout this part is for setting up the toolbar with the nav controller and after this part we can get the reference of the a tab layout and also the view pager and we can bind them together so let me create one new variable here tab layout and here we can use find view by id r dot id dot tab oh it should be tab layout r dot id dot tab layout similarly we can create one more variable for the view pager so it's of type view pager 2 and r dot id dot view pager now we need to create one adapter for the view pager this adapter will say like how many Pages we want to show in the view pager and like uh, for the index position what page we want to show so for that we need to create one new class so here let me create one class suppose the name is fragment adapter it will get one fragment and we need to use uh, it from fragment state adapter fragment state adapter 
So we need to pass the fragment here. So let me import it. Now we need to override two methods here. So if I click on Alt Enter, then it shows me the implement members, and you can see that we need these two methods. So first one is a get item count. So it will return how many pages we want to show. For now, suppose it is three, and the second one is a create fragment. So it says that we need to return on fragment here. So we already have three fragments: first fragment, second fragment, and third fragment. We can return this fragment based on the position value. I can use one when block here, when position, and if it is zero, then I can return first fragment. First fragment dot new instance. So if I go here to the new instance, then you can see that we need to pass two params, but we can also remove it. We can create one new instance. Okay, we don't need we don't have any parameters to pass to this first fragment. Similarly, for the second fragment, also we can create similar one new method. Similarly, if I go to the second fragment, so I can create one new function here. This is new fragment, it will return the second fragment. Similarly, for the third fragment, it will return the third fragment. And also, we need to add one else here, of course. So for one, if the index is one, we can return one second fragment in instance. If it is two, then we can return one third fragment dot new instance. And if it is not among these numbers, then we can just simply return the first fragment. So this adapter is created and we need to add this adapter to this view pager. So here we have this adapter property and we can create one new instance of this adapter, fragment adapter. Okay, I did one mistake here. So we don't have to pass this fragment since we are calling it inside an activity. We need to pass a activity. So if you are using it inside a fragment, then you can use this approach. So here we need to pass one activity of type app complete activity and here that we can pass the activity. So from here we can pass the reference of this activity. Then we need to bind this tab layout with this view pager. So for that we need to use one new instance of class. It's called tab layout mediator. So the first one is it will take the table layout and the second program is it will take the view pager. We'll get the tab and the position, current position. And we can change the text of this tab based on the current position. So suppose the text is tab position. And also we need to call one method here it's called at us now let me restart it it's crashing because this name was fragment we don't need this one we don't need this line even we don't need this line because we have removed the navigation controller okay now these tabs are added and if i click on one tab then you can see that it's moving between the fragments and even if i scroll if i swap between these tabs then also it moves so this is the way you can yeah, integrate tab layout and view pager too if you love this video please like it and if you have any questions please drop one comment below also if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe
Thanks. Bye.